and, and so much reaction really now uh, pouring in for Pele. And, and I know, Stefano, that you've had experiences like I have had experiences where you see children just come up on a random pitch. It's not even a pitch. They're playing in dirt. And you know that so many of them have the dream of Pele in their minds as they're kicking around any ball they could find. Yes, uh, definitely. I mean, it's one of these icons that really spoke uh, to millions of people uh, across decades because uh, his career started in the 1950s and still uh, we, he's, uh, he has been uh, remained relevant uh, and an icon uh, to this day, frankly, so really for over 70, 70 years. Uh, another thought that I had uh, just uh, looking at uh, these reactions that are pouring in about Pelé is that he, we often consider f uh, Europe as the capital of football and most of the, the, the most talented players from South America normally go to play for rich uh, uh, European clubs, Real Madrid, uh, AC Milan, uh, Maradona played for Naples and Barcelona. Pelé never did that. Pelé went to New York, to Cosmos, to play in, uh, in the 1970s because he probably realized that it was time to open the frontiers of uh, football, to bring the United States uh, into uh, the big uh, football family all around the world. He truly was an ambassador and, uh, and, uh, and an icon, uh, and uh, one uh, that really transcended the sport, uh, transcended the football pitch. Uh, he served uh, as a uh, sports minister, for example, in the 1990s with uh, Fernando Enrique Cardoso in, uh, in the first government uh, of a democratic Brazil. So you can see a person that really was at the center, at the heart of uh, the Brazilian, uh, of the Brazilian uh, nation, and uh, that will be mourned uh, truly as a god, as an icon, as a true symbol of the 20th century, Paula. Yeah, of the 20th century and, and what uh, Brazil could become in the 21st uh, century. Uh, I want to ask you, Stefano, these are tumultuous times in Brazil right now. We have a changing of the government in just the next few days. Just describe to us how uh, really perhaps delicate this dance will be as uh, Lula da Silva comes back into office and as so many in that country have this outpouring of grief and celebration, I would add, for Pele's passing. Yeah. Yes, definitely. It's a moment for a nation to truly come together. We, we looked at the World Cup as a moment where Brazil and the Brazilian national football team could help uh, unite uh, the country at a moment where polarization it's really at, uh, at, uh, to, it's really reached uh, the top levels in, uh, in Brazil uh, in, with the competition between uh, Luis Inácio Lula da Silva, who is due to become the new ex-president uh, on a Sunday, and the current president, uh, Jair Bolsonaro. Uh, that moment didn't come as Brazil uh, was kicked out uh, of the Qatar 2022 Football World Cup, but that moment will definitely come uh, when, with the morning of uh, Pelé. Truly, you will see that the entire nation will be glued to the TV screen and to the radio and try to be as participative as possible to the morning and to the funeral, which we understand will take place uh, at uh, the home ground of his uh, old uh, uh, club, Santos FC, a few kilometers uh, southeast uh, of uh, Sao Paulo, the biggest uh, city in Brazil. It will truly be a moment where Brazil can come together and perhaps uh, Unite uh, in this moment of mourning, in this moment of reflection, and to begin uh, a, a new, a new course, a new deal with uh, the upcoming presidency of Luis Inácio Lula da Silva just on Sunday. Truly, history is played as a trick uh, right now with uh, the passing of such an icon at such a tumultuous time for the greatest nation of South America. Polo. Absolutely, and, and I, I, we certainly hope that Brazil uh, will rise to the occasion uh, as they have in the past, uh, obviously with even hosting uh, the World Cup in, in years past. Stefano Poncibon for us there in Bogota, Colombia. We will uh, continue to follow reaction from the continent.